And so, in your own opinion, what are the possible solutions to reduce poverty in Plateau State? Talking about the breaking down, you've talked about carrying 1,000 naira to go and eat your, your good meat pepe soup and all that. So, some people cannot afford such things. So, what is your take on that? You know, um, I think I'll go back to the same focus and um, there are social network mechanisms, but those are temporary. Okay. For example, if you look at poorest of the poor, what they need in order to jumpstart something that will help them is not the big loan of 500,000. Mm -hmm. They're looking, the woman that is selling groundnut, the woman that is selling tomatoes. Oh, frying akara. Or frying akara. Mm -hmm. Her akara, the uh, palm oil, and everything she has, plus the pot and everything, it's not up to 50,000 naira. Okay, what, and if the market is there and she's struggling, she, she cooks and then within 30 minutes, people are, it's all finished. Why don't we increase her capacity in a local way? What is the population of Plateau State people doing? It's agri, isn't it? Why can't we make them not only make subsistence living, which they will eat, but also gain enough for them to be able to pay their, their, their bills? Now, how, how do you measure development in a society? It's what we call the HDI, in the, uh, mm. Human Development Index, isn't it? It's based on knowledge, which is the education, longevity, which is the health, and purchasing power. So the majority of the people are in this sector of agri. So if you want to reduce poverty, mm. you must now ensure that what is needed to move this is what you do.